There's but one constant will be the pollen levels, and yes, it is grass pollen. They have been high in England and Wales for a couple of weeks. They're now very high, and they're going to increase even in Scotland, where currently that's not the case. But not today. Now, the weather in Scotland, and for yesterday as well, is not at all conducive to the grass spilling its pollen. These lime green dots are showers. They've been constant and persistent in the western highlands, and they're likely to spread further east and south again today. Though yesterday's dramatic events at Glen Eagles probably won't be repeated. There's a risk of thunder, but it's more likely you just see an occasional shower. But the trend here through Saturday and Sunday of rising temperatures and maybe some sunshine is applicable to all of us. Now, yesterday in Northern Ireland, the showers were pretty vicious. They'll be widespread today, but I don't think we'll see a great deal of thunder, and they won't be quite as bad, and they'll die out by this evening. And the little blue blobs you might be able to see over the Pennines and Cumbria, they've been going all day, and they'll carry on and may well get sharper this afternoon. Equally, some southern counties of England could see a shower, a noticeable one, but for most of England and Wales, as yesterday, it's actually a fairly dry and not a bad day, and a, a pretty dry end to the day. It's a, almost a barbecue evening, though it may not feel quite as warm as yesterday. In fact, the temperatures during the afternoon won't be quite as warm as yesterday, but temperatures will rise. This is one of the dramatic changes. Along with rising temperatures, which actually get by Monday to the category of hot, 28 Celsius, 82 Fahrenheit, there'll also be rising humidity, which means more clouds. The picture in Scotland is overcast tomorrow. Morning deep showers in England will probably fade away by the afternoon, but the cloud sheet will tend to come down. So sunshine will be something of a premium for some of us. Not in the southwest, where it looks pretty good. The temperatures tomorrow, nothing to ride home about. It'll probably feel a little warmer, but with similar temperatures. And Sunday's rather disappointing start shouldn't really put you off. Yes, there'll be a lot of mist and murk around the coast of Scotland, England, Wales, and Northern Ireland. But the sun is strong, and inland a lot of it will burn away. And if, for example, you're on the eastern side of England 